Hey subscribers, just want to make a video here. Uh, this is kind of a great getting started video, of just creating a new report. Um, uh, we are on the home page right now, and you'll notice that I've got two buttons at the top, and then I've got a whole list. All these little boxes are all of the different inspections that I've done. Uh, some of these are ones in the future that have come over from the ISN. And then I've got options here of how to create a report. So um, probably best to start this this button is going to create the last report that you did so Orca is the name of my company the residential template is what I use 95% of the time so it defaults to the last template that I've used right here I could also create a report from a template and you could have as many different templates as you like uh, I recommend watching our video on templates so you can get some idea of the pluses and minuses of having lots of different templates um, but here you could see I could choose my residential I could choose a sewer scope template or a written consultation those are basically the ones that that I use um, you could also uh, go into one of these guys so let's say something came over to the ISN we could click on this and we could choose the template that we want to do that way you could even go to an existing report uh, we could open up oops sorry let me go back there we could go to this report and if you right click on this report you could copy it to a new template what that allows you to do is take all the client information let's say you've done a home inspection and now you're going to do a sewer scope you could copy to a new template and then uh, you could do a sewer scope and that's going to take Michael Jordan and all his information and put it into a sewer scope report uh, so in that way if you're syncing stuff from the ISN you can do more than one type of report um, let's start a new report. We'll hit Orca Residential here and you're going to watch a report load. Right now it's loading all of the chapters and sections. So over here on the left you see it's populating the items to be reviewed. Um, so let, let's just diagnose what this is. These are a lot of controls for you know saving your templates, submitting feedback, settings, uh, publishing a report is really important. That's right up here. And then these flagged items would be required fields that we have to fill out. So let's go look at some of those. Um, all of these are the chapters of the report. All this stuff could be customized. You can rename it. You can resequence it. Um, let's click on the grounds for example and within the grounds chapter we have all these different sections and within a, the drainage and site section we have some descriptive pull downs because they're red these are required fields so if you watch this over here when I clearance to grade standard now I've got 187 items downspouts discharge below grade I've got 186 so uh, we just kind of tick off these descriptive items every inspector can set required items that they want to have count here uh, my advice is you kind of whatever you want to have in the report be sure you list it that way and it'll help you review it at the end uh, you can kind of clean that up you can see our, our video on uh, required fields and flagged items another video we have um, so what if you want to write a comment you can add an observation we use a keyword search for every section so we're in drainage we could type in the word corrugated and it's going to find corrugated storm drains monitor corrugated storm drains with red flags perforated pipe so we could choose that one uh, and then you can just drag photos in as you need to so just that is the basic anatomy of just writing a report and a comment and then you'll notice uh, you should see this these top buttons up here these top fields those are bold and those are designed to show in the report I want those to be part of the report everything down here in italics we call inspector only notes those are only designed for the home inspector as shortcuts and I've built a lot of shortcuts into the default template template that you're going to see a couple kinds so uh, these check boxes are just things I run into all the time so I'm going to recommend cleaning and servicing the drainage system boom I can just go like that I could grab a few pictures and drag them in and 
uh, done with that comment. Uh, every inspector can customize this and build out your own little check boxes so you have quick access to things. Where you see common observations, I've built out sort of a logic tree so that you could say, hmm, I wonder what things are wrong with catch basins. Click on that and uh, see clogged, keep clear note, um, so different, different comments that are available. Uh, through using kind of the old logic tree method you know we could look oh what do we have rain barrel comments right so um, I think that's it that should give you enough to just at least get started creating a new report and starting to write a report um, I hope this helps thanks for watching